The newest draft profile video is here. What's up everybody, it's JJ Buckets. You've already seen Alex Sar's draft profile last week, and if you haven't, go check that out, it was a really good video. Today, we are gonna do Matas Buzelis, but before I fully get into things, usual drill folks, please leave a like on the video. It goes a long way in the algorithm, and I'm sure you know that because I say it all the time. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here, plus if you plan on doing any responsible sports betting in the near future, just make sure to check out my link in the description below. Sticking with guys that have a pretty good upside, but are also a relatively safe floor, let me throw Matas Buzelis at you. Now, I don't know if I'm pronouncing his first name right, I've heard a couple of different pronunciations, so correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section below, but it's not the main point here, right? <laughs> the main point is Buzelis as a prospect, and I think the more Buzelis has gotten the ball in his hands with G League Ignite, the more he's maybe turning a few heads in terms of some of the things that he can do on the basketball court. For starters, his size coupled with you know his ability to handle the ball looks relatively impressive and it's kind of hard not to let that catch your eye when you watch Buzelis play. I think he's got really good upside not only just as a creator for himself and getting his own shot, I don't think that's going to be a massive problem for him. I think he's got a little bit of upside of creating for others as well. I think he's got a pretty good feel for the game and at that size like the it's hard not to get excited seeing a 6'10 guy who's got a feel for getting to his spots, scoring the bucket, and then also potentially finding teammates for some relatively easy looks and for some easy buckets. I think that's a big selling point with Buzelis. I think another big selling point with him is the fact that he should project. He should project to the NBA as a fairly switchable defender just because of his size, because of his wingspan, and because of his relative mobility at that size. And switchable defenders are always at a premium value at the NBA level. And if you're getting that from this guy, like, you're laughing, right? Like, you're thrilled about that. And on top of everything, this is the part I think that intrigues me slash concerns me <laughs> at the same time. So you watch Buzelis play and you can see the signs of a good shooter there. However, the stats, the efficiency doesn't back that up at the moment, which it's interesting because he's naturally, he's a young player. He's a teenager playing in the G League Ignite, playing obviously amongst grown men and amongst guys that are a lot stronger than him. Although sometimes you wouldn't know it. Again, I think he uses his size pretty well. And to that point, sorry, <laughs> um, the shot hasn't necessarily been there, but he also, the mechanics look fine, right? So it's one of those things where you look at it and you're like, well, the results haven't been what you would hope, but you watch him play and you think to yourself, it can probably get there, right? And I think the experience of playing on NBA size court in the G League is always very valuable. Although G League prospects have kind of been a little hit or miss, I think. Obviously, Jalen Green, John Kaminga are the main guys that like hop out at me in terms of guys that have taken the G League Ignite path. And Kaminga is his own situation because Steve Kerr, yeah, playing young guys, it don't even get me started. His rotations in that regard are spotty at best. Um, and when it comes to Jalen Green, he's definitely not fulfilled the potential that he's had. So, on one hand, I'm excited about the fact that he's playing the G League, playing with NBA size courts and shooting from the distance that NBA players would shoot at because he's going to get that practice. Then at the same time, I'm also looking at the track record of some of these G League players and I'm also looking at his efficiency, I think, and I think to myself, mmm, not particularly thrilled about this. So again, it's one of those things where what do you value more? Do you value what you're seeing from this? prospect in terms of the results at this moment or do you value you know some of the mechanics that he's showing you and some of the I guess vision that you can see of the guy in terms of with the right team with the right development which I think is obviously a big part of any prospect like can he take the thing that he's mechanically good at and translate it to results with the right team and I think that's the big question at the end of the day you know, with the Toronto Raptors and in terms of his spot here, in terms of how he fits in here. Now, I will say as far as Buzelis goes and as far as his fit with the Raptors, you definitely have those wings pretty short up right now in terms of Scotty Barnes, 
RJ Barrett and I gotta imagine Grady Dick is in the near future to be a starter. You also have the decision of what happens with Gary Trent Jr. But at the same time, you can also sit there and say, hey, you can never really have too many wings and too many good switchable wings in the NBA. So you can make that argument as well. You folks tell me if the Raptors have more than enough there and they should steer clear or if a good player is a good player and you want to take a shot at somebody like Buzelis. All right, folks, and that does it for me. What do you guys think? Is Buzelis somebody that intrigues you? I personally find him one of the most interesting candidates in this draft. I think there's a lot of upside with him, but as I've already mentioned, it might be a little redundant considering what's already on this team, but you may disagree and you may think his skill set is worth taking that chance on. Regardless of your opinion, the comment section is right there. And as I said last week, whatever prospects you'd like me to take a look at in the future, drop it in the comment section below because I definitely, I'm reading these comment sections. I've seen a couple of names in there that I'm like, you know what? I do want to do a deep dive on those players. So rest assured, if you pitched a name to me, I've read it, I've seen it, and there's a good chance I'll make a video on it. So drop it in the comments below. Other than that, folks, usual drill at the end of these videos. If you haven't done so already, please leave a like on the video. I say it all the damn time. I'm beating a dead horse with it, but I really do mean it. It does help the algorithm out a ton, so please, please do it. Subscribe if you're new here. There's gonna be plenty more of these videos on the way. Other than that, JJ Buckets, it's been a pleasure, and I will see everybody next time.